Hey there, this is Farah again, and today I want to show you a little neat trick or hack or workaround, <laughs> you name it, um, in Bitwig Studio. There are thousands of people complaining about the lack of the freeze track option in Bitwig, me included, but I found a little helpful workaround that's fast and works great in my case. Okay, let's say you have a big cord stack here that kills your CPU right now. <laughs> okay, in Ableton you can freeze the track and that's it. But you can't do that in Bitwig Studio. The way I manage it, um, I open the clip launcher, just drag and drop the MIDI data in here. Now I bounce in place and see what's happening. Nice. So in case you want to change the MIDI data, just drag and drop back and you can change it. <laughs> okay, the second trick I want to show you Let's say you have a big project with a lot of stuff going on here and you want to do your mastering direct in the project. So you open your master chain here. It can happen that it uh, completely kills your CPU. Well, um, what you can do is um, just group your tracks. In my case, I... Um, Always group my drums, group my basses, the synth, the vocal chops, effects, and stuff like that. What you can do now, um, you can click group here and bounce that in place. So, next thing, just grab all the instruments in this group and deactivate them. So you have enough CPU power to do uh, your mastering here. Okay, when you want to change that, just delete the group, deact uh, act reactivate, sorry, <laughs> reactivate all the instruments in the group. Yeah, here you go. Hope you guys find this useful and see you next time. Bye bye.